thing. Really? California doesn't just have Amber Alerts for missing children. We have Ebony Alerts for black children and Feather Alerts for Native American kids. What is that? We look for them by listening on the ground. Bill Maher's shows have taken a bit of a turn recently, where yesterday he destroyed that woke lunatic that came on his show trying to disparage people like Elon Musk and Donald Trump. And he kind of shut her down and said, you know, this actually isn't factual what you're saying. This is just, you know, your woke brainwashing. And I don't think by any means Bill Maher is like coming over to the to the light side or anything like that. Bill Maher is definitely very, very much so still a blue pill. He's still not on the red pill side. He doesn't understand what's, what's actually going on out there. He's still definitely brainwashed washed a bit but it is cool to see that bill maher still has it in him to say stuff like this and do stuff like this and i'm going to show you in this clip as you can see this tweet here from vigilant fox it says bill maher shocks democrats with seven minute plea to stop racial pandering he says when chuck schumer and nancy pelosi put on kente cloth i don't think it earned them one vote from 2010 to 2020 the number of people identifying as multiracial in america went up 276 percent Morgan Freeman says that the way to finish off racism is to stop talking about it. The Financial Times writes Democrats are going backwards faster with voters of color than any other demographic. Americans don't fit into neat little boxes anymore. The real issue is class and not race. Let's check out this crazy clip here from real time with Bill Maher of Bill Maher just destroying the woke cult and the Democrats out there. Let's check this out. I do give a shit who wins the next election. An outdated racial pandering is one reason Democrats lose elections. When Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi put on Kente cloth, I don't think it earned them one vote for their powerful emotional ties to Ghana. <laughs> Here in California, we're now segregating kidnapping. I want you to pay attention as well to the audience reactions to this, because a lot of times, like, you'll notice on Bill Maher's show, on Real Time with Bill Maher, when he's live on television, whenever Bill Maher says something that's really woke and panders to the woke side, there's a lot of applause, there's a lot of laughing, there's a lot of cheering. And this one, you can already tell the laughter that's coming from the crowd, his audience, whenever Bill Maher just said what he just said, it's more of nervous laughter than it is like, I agree with you laughter. So let's check this out. Really? California doesn't just have Amber Alerts for missing children. We have Ebony Alerts for black children and Feather Alerts for Native American kids. What is that? We look for them by listening on the ground? <laughs> Look, even if you like identity politics, this kind of thing is antiquated. From 2010 to 2020, the number of people identifying as multiracial in America went up 276%. One in five newlyweds now are in an interracial marriage, and that number goes up to 100% in ads for Subaru. <laughs> See, like, it's stuff like this that gives me hope with Bill Maher. Like, this is actually some funny stuff that he's saying, but also a lot of truth involved. And this isn't just some him in the flow of conversation, you know, disagreeing with some woke lunatic that comes on his show. This is a pre-planned speech that he wanted to give to his audience that is not only just for funny, for, for giggles and stuff like that. This is a lot of truth being spewed by Bill Maher here. And this is what gives me a little bit of hope. You couldn't do a remake of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner today because almost 100% of Americans approve of interracial marriage, especially with rich in-laws. <laughs> and 95% of white women would leave their husband to marry Idris Elba. <laughs> Idris Elba, who says, as humans, we are obsessed with race, and that obsession can really hinder people's aspirations. Actress Raven Simone agrees. She told Oprah, I'm tired of being labeled. I'M NOT AN AFRICAN-AMERICAN, I'M AN AMERICAN. She, she says, I don't know what country in Africa I'm from. My roots are in Louisiana. <laughs> and you don't have to agree with that, but it's a point of view a lot of people have. It should be respected. Morgan Freeman says the way to finish off racism is, stop talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man, and I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. There's even a movement now to ban racial questions on the census, and many of its leaders are people of color, like Professor Sheena Mason, who says to undo racism, we have to undo our belief in race. The liberal group MoveOn.org, formed in 1998 to urge Republicans to move on from the Clinton impeachment. Today's Democrats should move on from identity politics. It's not working. Now, I have to 110,000 percent agree that we should move on from identity politics. But let me know in the comments, do you agree that we should move on from just race in general? Like 
to say that someone's not African American or not black, they're just American. I don't know if we should just act like race doesn't exist. Like that doesn't seem like uh, to me, it doesn't seem like that's beneficial because that's kind of what they're in a way. That's what they're trying to do where like it's racist now for if someone robs a store and then the police are trying to identify the person and, you know, relay to the other police officers in the area, like what the person looked like. It's like racist to say, oh, he's a, he's a black male. Like it, that they're like, oh, why has he got to be a black male? And then if we try to act like, if we try to put the nail in the coffin of race and say that race just doesn't exist in general, then it's going to be like, well, what the hell is a black male? I don't know what that is, you know? So I, I personally, I don't think we should just do away with race altogether, but definitely do away with, you know, identity politics for sure. Let me know in the comments how you feel about doing away with race altogether. It's not working for them or for us. Democrats are hemorrhaging the very voters they think they're pandering to. The Financial Times writes, Democrats are going backwards faster with voters of color than any other demographic and suggests the reason is that a less racially divided America is an America where people vote more based on their beliefs than their identity. Exactly. Far left liberals are living in an old paradigm. Americans don't fit into neat little boxes anymore. Who has the number one country song right now? Beyonce. Lil Nas X won a country music award, and he's black and gay. (laughs) And a brand ambassador for the waspiest purse in America, Coach. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. (laughs) The biggest new star in country is Jelly Roll, who was a drug dealer, then a prisoner, then a rapper, and then a face-tatted country music star. Not to mention a giant middle finger to the idea of staying in your own lane. No. In America now, you're allowed to be many things all at once, and that's a good thing, even when it's really stupid. (laughs) Look, we're all jelly roll now. We're sloppy, complicated, and contradictory. Two-thirds of Republican voters support weed legalization. And 40... Yeah. And 41% of Democrats own or live with someone who owns a gun. Miss Marvel is Pakistani, and the winner of the last two NBA dunk contests is white. (laughs) Yeah, it's just awesome to see people like Bill Maher, you know, I don't, like I said, by no means is he actually red pulled or anything now, but it's cool to see Bill Maher do stuff like this. You know, and like I said, this isn't, this isn't just like a argument that he got into, but the fact that he pre-planned this out and, and was like, you know what? I want to make this statement that identity politics is just stupid. And obviously there's some like wokeism built into this, but it's not as far woke as Bill Maher normally is with his complete, you know, brainwash cultism. Now it's like, it, it's, it's weird. It's like he goes in waves where sometimes he'll be like, oh dude, Bill Maher, he's waking up. But then he'll go and talk to someone like Patrick Bet David, and, and Patrick Bet David brings out Bill Maher's like extreme woke side, and then there'll be a, a complete woke lunatic that comes on Bill Maher's show, and it makes him look like a, a normal person. And then he goes on speeches like this, and it's like he has it in him. I wish he would just. I think it's. I think it's because a lot of his fans would turn on him completely if he went full anti woke, and then he might lose his his real time with Bill Maher's show. He might, you know, lose a lot of his money if he goes full anti woke. But he has it in him, you know. The new Captain America is black, and Spider-Man is black and Puerto Rican, just like AI George Washington. (laughs) Latinos make up half of the Border Patrol, and the name of the coolest black dude on the planet is Lenny Kravitz. (laughs) RuPaul has a ranch in Wyoming that does fracking. (laughs) And has a fortified compound with a bunker to die for. Somehow, the leader of the village people was straight. (laughs) Really? He just went to the YMCA to work out. (laughs) And the leader of the Proud Boys isn't an old white guy. He's Enrique Tarrio, an Afro-Cuban. He burns crosses on his own lawn. (laughs) Caitlyn Jenner is a pro-Trump trans woman who supports a ban on trans athletes competing in women's sports. And there's even an LGBTQ organization called Gays for Trump. And why wouldn't there be gays love drag queens? You see, it's like, 
when he's when he's going after everybody like it can be funny like that's what comedy is supposed to be right everybody nowadays is so damn sensitive even bill maher himself to where most of the time when he would make a joke about trump or something like that like bans on 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 trans women in sports or whatever it would like make me a little bit angry but in this sense because he's attacking everybody it's like it's fine like it's, it's just it's kind of funny you know it like i don't think bill maher is, is super funny but some of these jokes that he's making they're just kind of funny and i wish more comedians would be more like this where they're willing to just make jokes about everyone and i wish bill maher would be like this more often as well our black president was half white and our black vice president is half asian and tiger woods is oh we don't even have the time <laughs> my point is <laughs> look you're still building your politics around slicing and dicing people into these fixed categories. Democrats need to get the memo that you can't win elections anymore by automatically assuming you're going to get every voter who's not these guys. <laughs> the more you obsess over identity, the more you ignore the bread and butter issues that win and lose elections. The real issue is class, not race. And the real gap is the diploma divide. And the real future of the party and maybe democracy depends on Democrats figuring that out so it was pretty cool to see somebody like bill maher you know go on that little rampage on on woke politics you know identity politics and stuff like that you know everybody agree i, I agree with a lot of the stuff he was saying obviously like i said some wokeism stuck in there of course but it's cool to see bill maher I go after shit who the woke side of things for once because he's normally going after the other side and like I said, he, he's had some woke lunatics on his show that he shut down, like like we posted on yesterday. But for the most part, it's it's him having people like Patrick Bet David on, who just absolutely schools him on every single topic because Bill Maher is emotional and, and brainwashed by the woke cult. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking, though, about this speech where Bill Maher shocks Democrats with seven minute plea to stop racial pandering and stop with the identity politics stuff. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking. If you did enjoy the video, though, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.